Okay, so if you've decided to do your adrenocortical stress profile, I wanted to give you a few instructions because it's a little bit complicated, but once you get it, it'll be no problem. Um, the first thing you'll see inside the box is there's a requisition form, and we will have discussed and decided whether or not you're having just the regular test, or which is a daytime test of four, four cortisol samples and some DHEA samples, or if you're also doing the cortisol awakening response, which means that you're taking some middle of the night readings because you're waking up in the night. Um, so make sure that that second box is checked if we're doing that. And so this form will have my signature on it. You're gonna wanna put uh, the date that the final sample was collected and fill out the patient information. So everything else should be filled out for you. Um, the vials that you're going to spit into look like this. The four white ones are for the daytime readings. So morning, late morning, mid-afternoon and evening. And the two blue ones are for the cortisol awakening response, which you do in the middle of the night. When you first wake up, you do the first blue one. And when you and then 30 minutes later you do the second one so you do need to stay awake and watch the clock for that um, so how they know which vial is which is that there's these little stickers that are numbered one through six um, I recommend uh, putting the also numbering your vials one through six with a with a sharpie on the lid and and what it asks for is your date of birth the time, the date of collection, and the time you started collecting and finished collection, um, which is the, the second time is a bit funny because it really just takes a couple of minutes, but that's what they want. So, um, and then you put them on the corresponding vial. Um, in the packet, you'll also see an instruction book. And the most important thing there is to know how much saliva they need and what time of day to do it. So the clear topped tubes need three milliliters and there's little um, markers on the side. It goes up to five milliliters, so you don't have to fill the whole thing. And the question that often comes up is that there's a lot of bubbles in saliva. So use your judgment, tap it down, um, maybe err on the side of putting more. Uh, and then the middle of the night ones just need one mil. So uh, that's, not bad and if your mouth feels dry you can have some water before you know swish it around um, get a lemon look at a lemon smell a lemon and that'll get you salivating and um, yeah and then you after you take each sample you're gonna want to freeze it so think about where you're going to be that day uh, you might need to take a bag of ice or uh, in a thermos bag or something if you're going to be out and about. So you want to freeze it initially, keep them frozen. And when you've got everything labeled, you've written down the date of your last sample, then you can package everything up. So, you know, it's frozen. If you need to wait a day to deal with the shipping, that's fine. So you're going to put, um, you're going to put your vials inside this biohazard bag that also has a, a little piece of um, foam stuff that just uh, absorbs moisture and you're gonna put that and your requisition um, you can put it you, you can put it back in the box but I don't really see the necessity of that because there's nothing labeled on the box so you could just put those things um, in inside your FedEx envelope so the requisition and this are gonna go in, and your vials in the biohazard bag are going to go inside there. Um, and then on the outside is your shipping label. So FedEx is the shipper and it's all prepaid. Um, so you're going to fill out this form by firmly marking your address and everything else should be marked and ready. The tracking number is just above the orange box here. You're gonna keep the top copy. Um, there's also another, uh, some kind of a commercial invoice 
that just says the value of this is nil. And um, it harmonized tariff code, it is, the type of specimen is other, it's not blood, breath, or dry ice. Uh, so just put your, the tracking number is that number that was on the waybill here. And, um, and then you can keep a top copy and put the other ones, fold them and put them with this inside this. So you've gotten these things out of here by lifting this purple flap and then you're gonna slide those in. You're gonna close, I'm pretending to do this. You're gonna close the flap. And then this is basically a giant sticker. And you're gonna peel the back off and put the sticker on the FedEx pack uh, envelope. Now to send this, you'll need to call FedEx. There is a FedEx place at Staples, but they don't take human samples. So you'll need to call them the day before you want the pickup and they'll come to your house. Uh, it's quite a long window. And I don't see why you can't leave this on your front porch for them to pick up um, because we're not shipping this on ice. So the sample doesn't require to stay frozen. It's just frozen the first time. I mean, if it's hot out or something, maybe put, uh, you know, put it on an ice pack and, um, you know, something reasonable like that would be, make a lot of sense. So um, you can just call the 1-800 number online for FedEx and arrange a pickup. And uh, then it should go off to the States and should have your results within a few weeks. All right, I hope that helped answer any questions and I uh, hope this all goes smoothly for you.